Yo, what's going on, guys? Pony Montana here. And if you guys are looking for run defense, look no further. This video is for you. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Just drop my controller. Like the video, comment down below. You guys already know the whole spiel. This defense is going to work with 4D lineman sets. So if you guys are coming out of Big Nickel over G, this, this video is for you. If you guys are coming out of the 4-3, the 6-1 even uh, formation, this video is going to be for you. It's going to help you guys out tremendously, especially if you have somebody who's starting to spam runs on you. This is going to help a lot. Now, weak side runs are going to be a little bit difficult to, 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 to stop. I'm not going to lie. But if you're if you're facing someone who keeps running towards the strong side this video is going to help you guys out tremendously now before i actually showcase what you guys can do out of any four down linemen set i also want to let you guys know that zone drops help you guys out on the defensive end to stop the run it'll bring you it'll bring your zone drops down if, well assuming you have them down to like a zero or a five it'll bring your zones down your hooks your your flats your uh, purples your blues not your deep blues but your purples your blues and your yellows it'll bring them down and it, if they have decent play rack they will help stop the run a little bit easier so that's what i'm going to showcase for you guys to actually get a gap shoot instead of relying on the computer to make tackles for you so if you guys watch the settings video the settings video is going to help with the defensive heat seeker assist because once you dive at somebody the the cpu will make sure that you're diving at the person and not missing the actual dive so let's hop right into it man we're going to be coming out of it doesn't matter what play that you're coming out in i like to come and come out in a cover four that's just preference and on the offensive side we're going to come out of the stretch alert x lucky it's one of the most annoying run plays that you guys can play so if we can if we can shut this down in the backfield you guys already know that you, you can shut down any stretch any run play down with this specific for with this specific concept okay so right now we have bobby okarake and we're gonna we're gonna base a line you don't have to base a line i'm just gonna base a line for the video then i'm gonna pinch my d line and then i'm gonna crack i'm gonna spread my linebackers i'm only gonna spread them so that i don't get clunked up with darius leonard out there but then what you're going to want to do is pinch your D-line, crash your D-line up or slant outside. That's that's what it looks like so far. And wherever the strong side is, so you see this tight end here? This tight end here is making this right side the strong side. If I motion him over to the left side, <clears throat> now that left side is the strong side. Motion him back over, now the right side is the strong side. So whichever side the strong side is, you're going to want to lean above on the hip of the opposite side defensive tackle. It'll make sense once I show once I show you the run defense. So once you do that, you also you're also going to want to make sure that you're not in a blitzing angle. So right now I'm in a three rack, which is fine. But you're going to want to make sure that you're not in a blitzing angle. And then once they call hike, this is where it gets a little tricky. You don't hold turbo you that is that's the trick to getting right through gaps is you do not hold turbo and you're going to be able to do stuff like that now once you get through the gap yes you can hold turbo and it is a split second thing but i'm going to show the replay on that and it's very very it's honestly it's very hard to do this on on regular practice mode because i don't have you know it's not like i'm i have to press hike and then switch over to my other controller so it, this is something that you guys will see if you guys tune into the live streams but it's this works against every single run as you can see that's a stop for two yards now i know if if, if they if they had derrick henry there or somebody like that he might break the tackle and then that's a whole different situation but us getting a gap shoot to where we're tackling them behind the line is dependent on your user now but this is going to be the best way for you guys to do it pinch your line i actually like the base line but pinch your line spread your linebackers is an optional thing i just don't want to get clunked up for the video with da with darius leonard because if i pinch everything darius leonard comes up there and it's going to be a little bit difficult so also he might end up getting the shed to actually help st st stop the run if you know we're sitting there missing our tackles but again you're going to want to pinch your d-line crash your d-line up take your user put him on the opposite side of the strong side okay you can you you can hover right in the middle as long as you don't honestly as long as you don't use you as long as you don't spam turbo 
the D line will not react to you as much as they will if you do spam turbo. As soon as, as soon as you spam turbo, one of these guys will target you. As soon as you hold turbo, and it's a mistake that a lot of people are doing. As soon as you hold turbo, this is this is not gonna happen. They're gonna they're gonna target you, but instead they're double teaming. They're double teaming two linemen instead of sitting there instead of one focusing on the the blitzing linebacker they're targeting you instead so you can honestly sit there and hover above the gap yourself so let's do that again you can sit there and hover above and like either gap just in case they do run to the weak side but as soon as they call hike you're gonna be able to sit there and shoot the gap now i ended up clunking up myself there but obviously like i said user play makes a huge difference when it comes to this run to, when it comes to this run defense so as soon as they call a hike you're gonna sit there and try to shoot the gap now i ended up again it's very hard for me to do this without having a lab partner with me especially for a run defense video because it's all based on timing but as you can see that gap is wide open for me to run through gap is wide open for me to run through and again you can also take this straight to the outside because they're not focused on you they're not focused on you simply because you are not you're not holding turbo i know that sounds very very strange very very weird but you are also going to be able to do that and just run towards the outside and as you can see we're right there i just pressed the wrong button but we were literally right in front of them to make a tackle now the inside the, the inside gap shoot that helps you stop every run in the game whether it's an inside zone a stretch a power o that helps you stuff everything but as you can see we are right there to make a tackle i just ended up pressing the wrong button i do that a lot fat fingers i can't help it so let's call timeout and showcase the same run defense out of a different run formation let's just let's, let's just come on four three normal same run defense different formation though same run defense but now you see you see how much tighter everything is but you see same exact gap shoot same exact stuff for same exact stuff for a loss and it's the same concept you pinch your d-line you crash them up and then you take your user you do not hit turbo and then you're going to be able to sit there and get your gap shoots nice and easy for nice stoppage of you know of yards and i this is something that a lot of people don't know a lot of people are just trying to just run through the gap at will regardless of any human life doesn't matter but that is not what you want to be doing you want to let go of that turbo button you want to crash up pinch your d-line and make sure that you're getting through a gap before you start spamming turbo so again if you guys are new to the game to pinch your d-line it's left on the on the directional path boom and then you're going to want to move your left stick down and that pinches them then you're going to want to crash up which is left on the directional pad and then up on the right stick it's going to slant outside if you can see then you're going to take your user hover them above and then once they call hike do not hold turbo i just got bumped and i still didn't get touched pretty much like <laughs> do not hold turbo and you guys are going to be able to just run through gaps at will because it's going to make it a lot easier for you guys to actually you know actually make your tackles and if you guys play mutt and you guys got ted hendrix on your field he dives the furthest so you guys are going to be able to make tackles so much easier well diving tackles you guys are going to make those tackles so much easier than you than you ever ever thought but hopefully this run video this run defense video helps you guys out that are in 4d lineman sets if you guys want me to make one for three four for three down lineman sets let me know down in the comment section and, I, and, and i'll be sure to get that to you as fast as possible my name is pony montana i will see you guys in the next video as always two fingers deuces and peace out